global controls will have to be imposed, and a world governing body will be created to enforce them. Crises precipitate change. <laughs> Hello everyone, Darko2012 here with Global Government News, and I have just another typical story that you would expect when you're living in a police state where everything as far as the legal system and your liberties is turned upside down and where everybody is just, you know, presumed guilty and then you have to prove your innocence. So we're all pretty much guilty and we could be charged with pre-crimes uh, now they're in with Europol and of course it's totally upset down from what it should be which is we're all innocent and we're presumed innocent and then unless we do something guilty um, you leave us the hell alone but this is the world we live in it's a hell hole you know people worry about going to hell after they die um, I just have to say um, I think we're already there, to be honest with you. I think there's a lot of beautiful things about this planet, but I just think that the people that are running this planet are pretty much Satanists, and they are. The de <laughs> if you if you believe in a Satan figure or a devil, I don't really myself, but if if one does exist, it would be the it would be these families, these ruling families, and uh, hell would be this planet. So. Uh, with that said, we have this story coming out of the UK, the Mail Online, and this is from March 25th, 2010. It's titled, Pupils Suffer Panic Attacks After a School Stages Fake Shooting of RE Teacher in Playground. So bear with me uh, with some of the terminology or the words, because uh, it is British, and they use some different terms. But uh, here we go. It says, children were left crying and traumatized after a school role play in which one of their teachers was apparently shot dead in the playground. The pupils, aged 10 to 13, saw the religious education teacher run across a field and fall to the ground following a loud bang. Some were so upset that they were sick afterwards, parents said. The stunt was a part of a science lesson designed to teach children how evidence is collected in criminal investigations. They were not told it was fake until 10 minutes after the event. That is just flat out sickening to me. That is just sickening. You know, it's even uh, uh, more sickening than that is that it's not just happening here. This shit's happening in the United States as well. Where you have SWAT teams arriving up at the school, telling, uh, scaring the hell out of uh, children, telling them that they're homeschoolers and that they're going to kill them. You know? These people have a lot of freaking nerve, man. It says children from Black Minister Middle School uh, were left traumatized by the fake shooting in the playground, which can be seen on the left of the picture. It says last night, Black Minister Middle School and, uh, Evansham, uh, Worcestershire, um, apologized to parents and admitted it had gone too far. Right, just like the uh, laptops that were issued to students in Pennsylvania here in the in the states, and then uh, lo and behold, it clicked on when it was at the at the. Uh, I guess you can consider him a child, but he was a you know young teenager, about 13, and yeah, the little uh, camera on his laptop uh, clicked on and uh, was shooting footage of him in his room. And then a year later, they arrested the child, or they arrested the young teenager, the student. They arrested him for taking drugs, but in reality he was eating Mike and Ike's candy. So this is how they, this is how they, this is how they uh, cover their ass. Oh, it, oh it, it did go too far. We didn't think that, because you know what that says? It says that they're sick assholes because... How could you not know that it went too far? I mean, how could you not use your freaking brain and say, you know what, this is going to traumatize children. I mean, it's bad enough that that real um, stuff like this happens in our society where people go into, into malls and schools and public places and shoot people because they're upset and they don't know how to vent their anger and hostility towards getting fucked over, right? No, 
No, no, no. They can't envision that because they're sick individuals themselves. Themselves. So there you go. It says, the shooting happened on Tuesday. More than 300 pupils were called to the hall and warned that there was a gun somewhere in the school before being sent back to their classrooms. Five minutes later, the fire alarm went and, I guess they say went off, and the children queued up into the playground. Only a handful knew it was fake. It says three teachers, one brandishing what looked like a gun, were seen running across the school field before shots were heard. Uh, teacher Richard Kent fell to the ground and played dead. The children were then ushered back to their classrooms as other teachers pretended to, uh, pretended to tend to Mr. Kent. It was ten minutes before it was revealed the scene was fake. So they let him just sit there uh, for ten minutes uh, crying. And like this one uh, student, it says up here, you know, suffers uh, panic attacks. So, but it's all about making it as real as possible, like... When the FBI and, the, and other federal agencies and Army National Guard here in the States, they want to go door to door and do uh, conf uh, gun conf confiscation drills and scare the shit out of people. And then they say, oh, but we warned them, right? We warned them, the people that knew, they knew where we were coming. But no, they go to, they go, they go to every house when they do that stuff. It's about, and, and they even say, they even admit, the feds do when they do these exercises, is that we want to keep it as realistic as possible, right? They want to keep this exercise as realistic as possible. In other words, what these people are saying is that they want you to be petrified. They want you to be terrified. They want to see your, you know, you, you know your eyes just bug-eyed like that and just be scared shitless. That's what they mean when they say, mean, keep it realistic. But it says... Vicky Woozy, whose son is in year six, said, When I heard about it, I just thought, oh my God, this is so inappropriate. It left some of the pupils terrified. A mother of 33 who has a stepdaughter at the school added, The children thought they were watching their teacher gun down and were waiting for the same to happen to them. Pupils, uh, the students, I guess they call them pupils, but the students were missing the bus home because they were consoling each other. One girl had a panic attack. It says, Head Terry Holland said only a small minority of the students had been left waiting for an explanation. We have spoken to them and their parents and apologized. Earlier, I apologize. Earlier this month, a group of primary school children burst into tears when their teacher told them they would be taken away from their families during a bizarre Holocaust reenactment. The 11-year-olds at St. Hilary's School in East Kilbride, um, Kilbride uh, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce these, uh, these towns, these cities here, says uh, were warned that they could end up in an orphanage to give them insight into the horrors faced by the Jewish children during World War II. So, there you go. Just uh, pure sickness, um, all around the, all across the boards, and don't really know too much, you know, what else to say about this. I think anybody that's that uh, just uh, watches video and listen to what I was saying is and reading this article is just. Um, I think it pretty much sums up what I said in the beginning of this video. Because everything in this planet, in this in this crappy governments, in these crappy governments that we're bound to and live under, you know, it's all a hierarchy, and they're just taking orders. They're taking orders. Someone gave these these schools, told them to do this. Everything comes from the top down, and so you'll never see the scumbags that come up with this shit. It'll, it'll just blame it on the bottom person who had no clue. They're just following orders and doing what they're told. And that's how tyranny uh, exists, and that's how it prevails. So I guess the point of the story here is, is if you're in a position like that, tell them to go fuck themselves. Tell them, I'm not going to do this, and I'm not going to, if this is part of the curriculum, I'm not going to do it because you guys are sickos. Thank you.